All right, we're going to try this again. What's going on, my tapped out of fans? How's it going? It's your boy, Dirty Boy, out here getting dirty for y'all. Well, Mikey got down here to Illinois. He's got the transmission and that dollhouse I've been trying to get my granddaughter. Going to be there in about an hour and a half. Boy, that damn thing has traveled. All right, I took the EGR off, as y'all seen. And, uh, guys, I'm so just proud of myself that I'm doing this right and everything, especially since I got the tools and uh, got some more hydraulic oil just in case. So, yeah, I mean, for what it has cost me just to do this right, I am so glad I'm doing it right. Uh, which I'm telling you, if this thing right here didn't come in my life, uh, yeah, it'd been a different story. So, let's see here. I need to figure out some way to... Let's see here. Let's see if I, can put it, I need to put it on this boat, but I don't know if this boat will hold it. I don't know if the boat will hold it. Oh. I kind of wish the, the thing does work good, and I'm glad to have it, but, uh, Figure this out. <laughs> Trial and error, guys. Try and error. Just got to check out the fittings in the box and find out exactly what you got, and I have this thing perfect. Really crinkled.
super close, guys. Super, super close. Damn my damn it, 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 it. Well guys, it looks like that this thing met its demise. The uh, or the uh, rubber O-ring that's inside here just blew out on me. But, you know, it did guys. We are damn, oh we're right on the money. Yeah, that worked. Oh yeah, so it blew out right when I needed it to. Buy some parts for this thing. Boy, that thing comes in handy. Boy, I should have got shit everywhere though, didn't I? You shiny. And get all that shit cleaned up, anyways. Alright.
still proud of it because it looks better than what it did, guys. is in there as right as I can get it. I probably pushed it out I say probably completely the whole way if not pretty damn close. Alright guys I guess all I need now is put it back together so I'm going to uh, open up the package and uh, see what kind of gases we got.
All right, guys. I know my welds look, don't look the best at all. But tell me the truth. Does this thing look better like this, or do y'all think I should have left it crashed? I don't think it really turned out that bad. I got that. I got that uh, inner fender well pushed back. I measured, and it's actually perfect. So yeah, now we just need to make this side look like that side. And then I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow to get this back on because I have no putty knife with me. But I do have some razor blades, so I might do that. But this has got to dry first. Alright, let me go ahead and do this other side.
Yeah, guys, look at this. Look how much better that is. The bolt holes all lined up. The fender is straight with the car. I mean, it's just all good. Look at that perfect body line shape. Awesome. I mean, yes, you're going to tell a little bit stuff like that and everything, but still a thousand times better than what it was. I don't want to go over here. Yeah, see, this is the same way. This uh, doesn't really line up with his body line either. I guess it goes, <laughs> I didn't even notice that, Dan. May have to get a new um, driver's side fender, too, eventually. Uh, actually, looks like this one's kind of. Uh, probably have to get another one eventually. But that's okay. I'm just loving how this turned out. Uh, the driver's fender that came off the other car is right here. But you see down here where they patched it. Pretty good little patch. And then it's got some pretty good little, I don't know if y'all can see them, but pretty good little gouge marks in them. This is a driver's side fender, and I was going to put the original driver, or, you know, a Camaro driver's fender on here, but there's a pretty good little whack here and some other dents, so we're just going to go aftermarket. Alright, guys, show you all the progress here. I ran out of paint to finish painting it. But it's actually getting to really look good. So as I get some more paint and everything, we're going to clean all this stuff off. Clean all this off. Paint all this. And then uh, um, put the front end back on. So yeah. It's going to be awesome. Alright guys, that's going to be this. Hope you all enjoyed everything. Car is looking good. I'm so glad I did that. It's done. Right, now, I know my wells ain't done with the shit, but at least it's still done right. Um, so yeah, hope you all enjoyed it. i talk to y'all guys later. Remember, keep it dirty. All right, guys. Second, uh, I was going to leave these the factory silver, but shit, by the time I got done taking all the dirt off of them, the silver was pretty much over with. What do y'all guys think of this color? Huh? I like that. We're going to do all the pulleys that color and everything. I guess there's a light spray on the bottom of the intake. I'm not going to go nuts on that. I do need to get a little bit more there. But, uh, make it look good. Better than that. Alright, guys.